It's Monday once again, so that means another episode of Red Light Questions. And I apologize this week if we don't get to absolutely every single comment left on last week's episode because there were 70 comments. Thank you all so much for that. I'm going to do my best to read absolutely every single one, but if I miss yours or skip over yours, I apologize. It's simply because we got so many. I got to get right into it. Start reading the comments from Yogurt77 said, I ain't never been this early on one of Sims videos. Interviews with the Street Outlaw Racers would be awesome. Then Jeremy Toth said, you will get them all in due time. Keep grinding. And I, I'll be completely honest with you guys about the current situation with this stuff. I've reached out to the 187 Customs page. I've reached out to Doc and I've reached out to Kamikaze. Haven't heard from Kamikaze. I believe it was Phantom that responded to me on the 187 Customs page. He said he'll talk to Sean. Then I messaged back and forth with Doc a little bit. He repl replied pretty quickly. I was surprised. And he said he was open to doing a video like that. He'd be down to do it. So he told me he'd get back to me when he is able to do it. So I said, yeah, man, just let me know whenever you get the chance. Let me know when we can set something up. So I'm reaching out to the guys. I'm trying to get something else going. Just only a matter of time, hopefully, until we get some more guys coming back. Troy Jacobs said... Do you think we will ever see the Chief and Sean show once again? And then someone replied with my heart says yes, but because they both want to do it again, they always had fun. Maybe once they are under discovery obligation. And I don't really think it's anything like discovery related anymore because we've heard multiple times they have the green light to do it. I think it's simply because, I mean, they're not in the same shop anymore. They're just doing like separate things. So I think that's essentially the main reason why. But I then replied, and I said, at this rate, I'm going to have to make it a goal of mine to go on a mission and record it myself. That's got to be the next goal, to get a Chief and Sean show done. And at this rate, I'm going to have to be the one that goes out there and gets the guys together to do it. At the, how things are going, I'm going to spend years. But hopefully one day we will end up seeing something like that again. Then Red Gaz said, try and reach out to Phantom from 187 Customs. That might help you get in the door with the 405 crew. I know he's always looking for great content. Like I said, I did reach out to them. And hopefully I'm waiting to hear back, I assume. Obviously, when I reached out to him was right between when they finished Mega or Mega Cash Days and obviously the top 20 list right now. So I understand why they haven't been able to do it. So hopefully once this top 20 list is over, I will get a chance to start doing some stuff with some of those guys. Then Perry Langford said, I'm pretty sure those guys get bombarded by YouTubers wanting to talk slash interview them. Plus, they're busy trying to live a normal life as well as trying to keep their equipment going. I bet Big Chief would be your best bet to try and get another race racer to interview just my two cents what are you doing well you rode off saying you're gonna come back with blood on your hands and then you're back and there's no blood on your hands kel f said based on what sean said in his latest video it sounds like they're filming a new show with the top 10 or 20 list racers from okc nola mso and fireballs ryan's videos he said he was going to be racing jj sounds like a lot of good stuff coming soon from studios by the way keep the good work thank you for that william hoffman said try going out to a no prep kings race to get an interview once they resume hopefully they're trying to get out juan gonzalez said hey some another good video with some awesome comments i do really enjoy other four or five video i think those are the kind of interviews that would set your channel on fire not that you're not on fire right now because you were one of the best things on YouTube. As always, Sam, you are the standard in what you do, my friend. Let's go, Sam. Thank you so much for that. Tom Selka said, Sketchy's Garage Follows and Knows. JJ, I know he's left a bunch of comments on some of my videos, and I really appreciate every time he does take the time to comment. Next tone, on to the said, Sam, do you watch Murder Nova's channel 187 Customs? It'd be awesome to see him on here. I think Phantom looks through the comments. Yes, I have watched it i watch it all the time and it's funny how many people are commenting trying to get phantom or get sean on the show by reaching out to phantom and that's that's exactly what i did jason james said ryan and sean would be awesome for you to interview again i'm gonna try and re i should reach out to ryan but i believe he has like they said in sean's video is like his own phantom so i want to find that guy and reach out to him because i'm assuming it'd be easier to get in contact with him if i reach out to him so i gotta go find uh, that stuff and then reach out to him to try and get something with Ryan because again that's a guy a lot of people would love to hear from then Jeff White said I think we need to start a campaign to get Chip Foose and overhaul and to do Sims car over for him it'd be awesome and I actually replied to your comment but I'll sum it up right here with what I said and I'm completely cool with where Betsy is right now my dad always says garage squad are the ones I should reach out to because he knows someone that reached out to them and they ended up completely redoing their car for them in their garage i think it was like a 68 roadrunner if i'm not mistaken it, it was something pretty cool i think it was a mopar and he said he reached out to them and they came in and did it with the garage squad and he's always telling me like you should do that with your car but i'm like man i'm cool with where betsy's at if i were to do something like that i'd probably reach out to like the garage garage squad guys and try and do something with my dad's car because his car it's, he's always had it obviously with raising me and my siblings he unfortunately hasn't had the money to really 
get that thing back to like a good, reliable, fun hot rod. It's always had problems here and there. And unfortunately, the most recent problems it's had haven't seemed to be pretty major problems. So if I were to do something like that, I'd much rather do it with my dad's car rather than with Betsy here. Because with Betsy, like it's fun doing all the stuff on the channel. I enjoy and I'm happy with what the car is right now. And if I were to reach out to someone to come in and like do something like that, it would most definitely be working on my dad's car. Just, I mean, just because I'm also too, with like how much they've, my parents have supported me. Like they've never doubted me or tried to discourage me with doing any of this stuff, spending the money in the car, making videos. And I think it'd be something pretty cool to maybe one day do. Then Greg Haynes said, this young man's got pep, this passion. He's definitely going somewhere. It's nice to see the younger generation not putting a dent in their parents' couch with a Game Boy in their hands. I appreciate that, man. Then Duplicat said, would love to see Farm Truck and Asian get their own show, or at least more airtime. Always look forward to their hijinks and jokes on every show. I think they would be, bring an endless amount of ideas to keep a series entertaining and informative, as well as performing the duties of race captains easily a par with Chief. Now, they are getting their own show, but unfortunately I had to stop filming it due to the whole virus and stuff, so hopefully soon, once everything starts to go back to normal, they will begin filming that. And I was thinking about it earlier today. We have a lot we're going to be seeing on TV in terms of Street Outlaws. Street Outlaws, like I've been saying, it is as big as it's ever been. I mean, like, it's always been growing. It's never, like, declined in any way, shape, or form. But we were going up and up and up and up, and then it just, like, leaped up all of a sudden. I mean, it kind of might have dipped down with the virus and stuff, but you have Season 2 of Street Outlaws Fastest in America. New Season of the 4 or 5 Street Outlaws. Mega Cash Days. Street Outlaws Top 20 List. Farm Truck and Asian's new show. Then I assume we're going to be seeing another 4 or 5 season or Memphis season after that. I mean, they are set for probably the next year for TV stuff for us to see. And the stuff we're going to be seeing is some of the coolest stuff we could have ever possibly imagined. I'm really looking forward to seeing what is coming up. Then Oscar... B said, can you do a list of the most popular TV shows using viewer ratings? How many views is the 405 versus JJ? I don't know if that's stuff like public information. I'll try and look into it and try and find some more information about that. And then Rob McCabe said, man, it's so cool when you mentioned me. Joe G said, hell yes, Sam. Thank you so much for that. Dale H said, hey, champ, keep up the great work from your fan down under. Thank you for that. Tony K said, can't stand for Home Trick and Asian as announcers. Just don't think they sound good. And man, I was thinking about this this morning too. I'm praying they either have Chief or they get someone else good for the top 20 list to be like the commentator announcer for that. I'm assuming Chief is going to be like the race master for the list because I've been seeing him flag most of the races from the stuff I've seen. But it's it's got the potential to be the biggest thing we've ever seen. The content is there. And what we've seen in the past, I mean, Race Night in America, that was a cool show, but the, I genuinely couldn't watch it due to the commentator. And people always complain about Farm Truck Nation being commentators, they just don't think it fits right. And I agree with like some of the cash day stuff, it just didn't really fit right having them do it. So man, I'm hoping they don't mess this up. I hope they got someone good. Hopefully it's Chief or someone else like that to be like the main commentator for the top 20 list, because that is going to be something amazing, and I cannot wait for that. Then... Getting over to Jesus is Lord. He said, I would love to watch you cover a race. Now, like we've been discussing this recently, and I think I'd more rather interview people there rather than actually film the race. But if you mean like cover race being like commentator race, man, I'd be 100% down to do something like that. That would be so cool. Then Scott R said, hey, Sam, I just was wondering when you get some interviews lined up, are you planning to let us know beforehand and leave questions and comments we would like you to ask for us? And that way, you could pick some of ours to ask, ours, I said that weird, ours to ask, as well as yours. Also, I think since you interviewed Big Chief before and have that connection, he might be able to help you get some interviews. See you next time. I, I swear, the past five videos I've recorded, there's been trains in the background. I apologize for that. But yes, I am planning on sharing with you guys i don't know how i will like announce that i'm going to be doing the interview i probably just mention it at like the end of a video so i know like the the real fans are the ones that will be leaving those comments but definitely for the next interviews i do i do want to ask you guys and get some questions from you guys because i already have stuff lined up for everyone i want to interview like i said sean doc kamikaze and ryan i already know what i want to ask them but definitely once the time comes i will ask you guys what you want to hear as well then 
Carl Travis said, take the leap, man. School is important. Take some time off. Go to the races, but it's a big decision, man. Good luck, dude. And that, man, that's where I'm at. I'm like, I know what I need to do to blow up. I need to do more of those interview videos. I like just looking at the growth my channel saw, how many people were watching, not only the interview, but how many people watch my other videos, how many fans I've seen, I've gained, like people comment every week. I started watching with the Big Chief interview. I see so many comments like that. I'm like, I need to do those to try and take my channel to that next level. I mean, I've been doing street race talk for 250 weeks. And as much as it sucks, I feel like that is, I mean, at about the peak to where it's going to cause big changes of growth in my channel. I just don't see anything with continuing street race. I mean, don't, I'm not stopping. I don't want that to be what I'm saying at all. But I don't see how street race talk will get me to make that big jump with my channel. I have to try something new. And I feel like those interviews will be the case. Then Hunter Johnson said, you should try to get Sean and Chief on the show at the same time. That would be, that would break the street outlaw section of YouTube, man. I said, I gotta be the one that gets the podcast back once again. Then Bruce Scogan said, hi, Sim. This is Bruce Scogan, Scogan, sorry, your first international shirt purchaser. We live in North Albert, Canada. My wife and I tend to wear matching t-shirts when we cruise and we get more questions about Betsy than we do Larry Larson. I thought you'd get a kick out of that. That is awesome, man. Another subject I have left comments about power timing Betsy with the good old fashioned brake stand. And even if you chalk up the front wheels, advance the time and put the starts on the ping. Little to use them back off until the ping stops and then we'll start then dump some bleach or water to try your burnout again. I think would make a great video and we're gonna do that. I got people I'm gonna have help me. I got all that stuff planned out for getting Betsy to do a burnout. I know what I'm going to do. I got the people I'm talking to. I got everything planned out. I just don't know when I'm going to do it. I don't know when I'll get around to do it, especially with everything going on right now. It kind of makes it difficult. I mean, it's getting cold out. There's nothing I hate more than the cold. But once I do do it, it's going to be a glorious video, guys. I can promise you that. There's another... There's another freight train coming to the background. I apologize for that. Greg Simon said, I would love to see you interview Kamikaze Man. I reached out to him just waiting for a response. Poor again, poor again, said an interview with Reaper would be cool. Show makes him look like a jerk, but his channel makes him look like a straight up guy. I might reach out to Reaper as well. Chris Man Man said, why don't you go to any of the No Prep Kings events? I think you would really do good with it. I'm going to try and get to some once everything resumes. David Lay said, getting better all the time. I'm back watching. Thank you so much for that. Jeff White said, hey, Sim, I really like your attitude. Do your own car your own way. That's a true gearhead. Thank you so much for that. Robert Mahors said, yo, bro, just want to give you an attaboy on updating all his fans with Street Outlaws. Keep up. Good job, bro. Attaboy. Love your show. I love watching 405 and JJ the Boss. I like them all. Thank you so much for that comment right there. Joe Wright said, in Westfield, North Carolina, we have cows, hay, tractors, and a lot of crooked roads. Thanks to Sim, we have street race talk, no prep news, and red light questions. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for that comment. I always notice you comment on pretty much all my videos, and I really appreciate it, and thank you so much for that. Dave Ungar said, hey, just wanted to say thank you. Thank you, thank you for the awesome job you do for all of us who are fans of racing. I guarantee you, let me say it again for good measure. I guarantee you, you save people at least an hour or more a week of searching on the internet on all of the worthless websites for info on the 405. Bro, so glad you do what you do. You are definitely the one and only go-to guy on straight up info concerning the 411 on the 405. Keep up the awesome work. I'm a pastor in Tampa, Florida, praying for you and your family. Hope you don't mind. God bless you, little bro. Sincerely, Pastor Dave. Man, thank you for that, man. That is like praying for you and your family. Hope you don't mind, man. I don't mind at all. I'm, I mean, no, we, see, we say grace before every meal and pray before we go to bed. But that comment right there, man, just stuff like that is just, it means so much. I mean, like, I mean, yeah, there's hate comments and my mentality, I said this in a previous video recently, my mentality with haters is always just F the haters. That's how you have to be. And, but don't, I don't lie. Like when you get st hate comments and stuff, it, it does like occasionally get to me. Like I'll think like, it doesn't change who I am or how I act, but I'll, I'll like think about it a little bit. But then you get a comment like this. Dave, I hope I'm saying your last name right, Ungar, just, man, just thank you. 
Thank like stuff like that just means so much because there's so many other people that go out there and have copied my idea for street race talk. I mean, I don't get mad at people for that. I mean, it's the way things are. But to see stuff like that, just man, you guys are gonna make me teary eyed in this episode. Just thank you so like thank you so much for that comment. I really really appreciate that. Then George Joseph H for the last comment of the day. Said, Sim, buddy, wanted to thank you for reading my comment on your interviewing fans. I just wanted to say much respect and thanks for taking the time it must take to get the information you collect and search for to keep us all updated. It's much appreciated. I'm the one that said looking good in this suit. Again, thank you, my friend. Thank you so much for that. I was just talking the other day. I was telling Liam, like, man, I look good in that profile picture. We got to all dress up and get a, like a, a group picture for like maybe the banner or something. But man, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the comments you left on this week's episode. That is all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching TTVE to the very end. Just man, you guys always just like making red light questions. It's so much fun. You guys leave the best comments. I enjoy discussing stuff, talking about stuff. And when you get those super nice comments like that, it's just... It means so much. I thank you guys so much for that. Make sure you guys tune in on Wednesday for a new random video on my channel, Friday for a new episode of Serious Talk, Sunday for a new episode of No Prep News, then next Monday for another new episode of Red Light Questions. All these videos upload go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, so make sure you guys click that little bell, turn the notifications on, so you a single video that I upload. Again, all my videos go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And make sure you guys leave your thoughts and opinions on anything and everything in the comment section down below, just about every single question and comment left in the comment section of this week's episode will be read in next week's episode of Red Light Questions. Betsy shirts and hoodies are also available at smoothxyz.web.com or first link down below in the description. I also set up a P.O. box, so if you guys want to send me stuff, address is down below in the description. Again, that is all. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at SimABCXYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and this is SimABCXYZ signing out.